All right. Good morning, everybody. It is Christmas week, before Christmas week here in the stock market. So a shortened trading week, and things are probably going to slow down as we go. Another red day overall here for the market. Been a rough two weeks or so. If you're a, a long-term investor or a swing trader, it's been a rough two weeks or here or so. But uh, did manage to make some money. Manage, manage to make some money here today trading. Two longs, actually. Went long twice today, both on Tesla. One was my standard nice intensity dip buy, and the second was actually utilizing what the scanner blueprint is, which is the nice alert off of the big intense move into either a descending or ascending triangle. In this case, an ascending triangle. So let's break it down, see what happens in today's trades. Let's trade. All right, guys, so first trade of the day here was on NVAX, and you can see down on the negative I3 scanner, it's hitting into the 30s here, and a nice big move to the downside. I go ahead and get long there, 50 shares, just under 218, and you can't see it here, but that's actually the close of the gap from last week, so that's kind of why I chose that area if it got down towards that to get started with my position. Only 50 shares because it is NVAX, and it's moving points at a time here, so... For entry there to 17.89, 50 shares, and I'm looking for back up through 220. Looks like it could be pretty easy pullback there, and I go ahead and I get ready with half at 220. So 25 shares, I'm ready if it gets up through 220 to take my partial, and this thing could theoretically get right back up into the 225s if it made a nice strong pullback. But I'm ready to take half there, which is good for me because normally, especially on longs, I don't take the partials. So watching it here, it's pressing 220, just under it, waiting to see if it can get through here. It gets through, and I go ahead and click the button, and I get the fill right there at 220 with 25 shares. I'm watching it again. It's up above 221, and it gets a little bit stally right there at 221. So I go ahead and put the second 25 shares out there at 221, get a fill there. And we're all out just like that in one minute for $130 with just 50 shares here on a nice NVAX long, the intense move to the downside into the previous uh, day's gap close there. And the second trade of the day was also on NVAX. You can see, if you look back into the chart around 9.50, it had made another intense move. It got alerted on the scanner there, but I didn't like that one quite as much. But if you look at the chart afterwards, it has since made an ascending triangle back up to the upside. You can see it here on the one minute chart. You could see it pretty obviously on the five minute chart. And I don't normally trade these, so I just decided to test it out, see how it goes. Real small share size. Get got 10 shares in there at 213. And because this is not my regular uh, strategy, this one actually has an immediate stop there below the ascending triangle at 211. So you guys who don't like how I trade necessarily can still use the scanner to find plays like this, get into the triangles and make the move. The stock market was also making a bit of a bounce at this point in the day, so felt pretty good about my chances here. Just 10 shares in at 213. And I wasn't quite sure what to do from there, honestly, because these aren't my typical normal plays that I make. So I was like, you know what, I'm risking two points on it. And my original thought was 215. For some reason, I put it out at 214.50 for a second. I was like, no. What are you doing, Dustin? That's not the right play here because this is a different type of trade. You're not looking for the same type of thing. And really what I have been should have been looking for on the break of 215 is a nice move back to the upside. Instead, I just decided, you know what, if I get 215, if I get one-to-one -one on this on the first time taking one of these AT trades, then, you know, I'll take it. So I'm watching it here. It's going sideways for a little bit. The market is moving up to the upside at this point, and I'm just waiting for to see if we can get back up through 215 here and I'm thinking ideally it's going to give me a nice fast push through 215 if it does make that and I'll get a nice fill so I load 215 in here to my limit with my 10 shares and I'm just going to take the whole thing at this point because it's only 10 shares so it's pushing 215 here and you know really looking back on it once it made that break of 215 which was the top of the at that should have been my sign that this was going to work nicely in my favor and let it go a little bit longer 
but I decided just to take it there. So I made $20 on it, an extra $20. But then you can see it immediately does continue up another two points. And this thing actually filled all the way back up to the VWAP there, almost to 220. So almost seven points from the entry there off of the ascending triangle, off of the intense alert. But you know what? Hey, we tried something new and uh, made a little extra money on it, an extra $20 off of another scanner play, just different than uh, how I normally trade. So... That's going to do it for me today, making $150. Can't really complain about that too much, especially how the market has been the last uh, couple weeks or so. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit like, subscribe. See you later.